Hello Year 5. And if this has to be put on YouTube, hello the whole school. Hello. Okay, so this is our next math intervention. We could do one every couple of days and this one's going to be based on fractions, decimals and maybe adding percentages in afterwards, okay? So you're going to see a list of questions pop up on this whiteboard in 3, 2, 1. There you go. Do you see them? If I edited that right, that'll look really good. If it don't, I'm going to look really silly. Okay, so let's get them. Okay, so these are our list of questions that I've got so far. Yeah, they might seem tough at the moment, but I'm going to show you a way that we can answer them. And this video is targeted towards the Year 5 students that I've had in my Maths Intervention class. But if any other Year 5 students or any other students in the whole school want to join in, of course you can join in. So let me show you a way to do it. Let's do our two practice questions now. Okay, here's our two practice questions. We're going to be going from a decimal to a fraction. There you go. Now you've got the word there. We're going from a decimal to a fraction. So our first one is 0 0.31. What would that be as a fraction? So this is all about place value, okay? This is about our place value columns. We definitely need to know our place value columns here, okay? So if this is our decimal point here, then that section is going to obviously be our ones or units column. So this column, what's that going to be? I think, shout it towards your screen. Just let me know. It's the tenths column. And this is our hundredths column so we have two columns here so that means it's going to be over 100 because the 100th column so it's going to be over 100 now if you imagine these were zeros that's a zero that's a zero we have two zeros there's our two zeros okay so here we have 0 0.31. We know it's over 100 because it's in the hundredths column and that means there'll be two zeros and it's over 100 because the word hundredths is in it. But how many goes on top? What's our numerator going to be? Again, just shout it at your screen if you think you know. It's going to be 31 because we've got 0 0.31. So it's going to be 31. Because if we've got 100 over 100, what will that be? That will equal one whole because 100 over 100 is one whole, it's one. Okay, our second practice question 0 0.8. Again, think about the column that the 8 is in, the place value column that the 8 is in. So, this is our decimal point. That's going to be our units or ones. What's this column going to be? It's going to be our tenths column, isn't it? It's going to be our tenths. And do we have any hundredths? No, we don't. None. So that means we're going to be over 10. Simple. And imagine again, if that was a zero, how many zeros after decimal point? One. How many zeros? One. What's our numerator going to be? I hope you got this. It's eight. Eight over 10. Because if we had 10 over 10, that would be one hull. Okay, so hopefully you guys got this and let's practice your ones now. So have a good look at the questions. Write it down. Do whatever you want. As long as you're practicing them, I'm going to go through them in three seconds. Three, two, one. Okay. 0.84 so we have the tenths and hundredths column here if we have a hundredths column that means we're going to be over 100 of course it does that's over 100 how many over 100 how many do we have we have 84 of course we do 84 over 100 what do we have here so we have the tenths and the hundredths column so it's going to be over 100 how many over 100 would it be? How many do we have? We have 33. And here, what column are we going into? We've got 7 and 6. That puts us in the tenths and hundredths column. If we have a hundredths column, it's going to be over 100. There's two numbers. So it should be two zeros. How many over 100? 
The numerator is obviously going to be 76. Okay, up here. What column are we going to be in this time? So we have the 10th column. Do we have the 100th column? No, we don't. We just have the 10th, so it's going to be over 10. How many over 10 is it going to be? Hopefully you got that. It's 4. Okay, next one. 0 0.07. This one might be a little bit tricky, but don't worry. You can do it. So we have a 10th column. Even if there's nothing in it, we still have it. And we have the 100th column. So it's going to be over 100. How many over 100 is it going to be? How many do we have? 70? No. Do we have 700? No. We have 7. The only number there is 7. So it's going to be 7 over 100. And here. 0 0.7. So what column are we in? Tenths. No hundredths. So it's over 10. How many over 10 is it going to be? We've got 7. It's going to be 7 over 10. That's it. Hey guys, I was just looking at the video and it looks like it'll be about 14 to 15 minutes long. So I thought that's quite long for a mess video, so I'll do the first part today and I'll do another part on Friday. And the part on Friday will be converting back from fractions to decimals. So the first part today is decimal to fractions and Friday will be fractions to decimals. I might even throw percentages in there if I feel like we can get onto that one as well. So see you later guys, have a good day, bye.